Guys, Birdnam here. I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration of the functionality of the uh, HP touchpad Ubuntu native port. And as you can see, it's got the U image here in WebOS, the uh, WebOS and Ubuntu U images in MoBoot. Both here. Now, now I'll just boot it. This first boot, the, first, the boot may take a little while, so be patient when you first boot it. So you can see it's, um, it's loaded in verbose mode, so you can see everything that's loading on. Here it's just mounting and showing you the mouse I've plugged in. Mouse the um, mouse mouse plugged in, sorry. Um, mounting the file systems and things. Um, now it loads here. Now first boot if we, uh, boot here it will look weird. It's got the VO drivers not working properly at the moment. Um, Touch, um, touch screen not working, sound not working. So, first login, make sure you use a mouse and on screen keyboard. Yeah. So, the login here, the password is for um, the first time is just Ubuntu. No caps, no spaces, or anything like that. Just go enter. You can see graph is graphical corruption. Um, yeah, a lot of all basic, I'm going to back, I'm going, probably going to backport a driver or something from one of the other kernels. So I got onboard loaded there. I, I've already booted this before, so I set that to load. If you open that, if you go into your um, your um, accessibility options and turn on onboard and sticky keys, it will make your life a whole lot easier because it will start onboard every time you log in. So as you can see, sometimes your background won't load on boot, you may have to manually switch to it. Um, see it's mounted boot and something else, which I'm not really sure what that is at the moment. On as file systems, so. Which you can, yeah, by default it loads, it um, will mount your um, media drive, so you can see, like I've got my music in here, it loads. It doesn't want to load, but anyway, um, so you've got music, you've got some of the media drive will load, you've got, um, Hmm, other stuff here, so. Um, yeah, and so you can browse the file systems and stuff. Firefox, everything. Yeah, wi Fi, Wi Fi, not working at the moment. So neither is sound working. Oh, Bluetooth isn't working either. But, um, yeah, so what else we got here? We got your dashboard. This is Unity, this is Unity, by the way, if you. Sometimes it takes a lot of load. Just move that out of the way. Yeah, there's the odd graphical glitch there. Um, so you should see all your apps and stuff, like... Um, like your Bracero, Firefox, Freecell, GBrainy, things like that. Um, the Orca screen reader for those of you who are disabled or anything like that. Um, yeah, so Rhythmbox as well. So, for example, let's launch. Let's 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 have a look at. Um, how about we take a look? We'll take a look at Solitaire. So that loads, works. So I can drag cards around and stuff. That's working. Yeah, touch screen, you can see, not working at all. So we've got to fix that. Okay. Also, the this um, system image is quite large, about a gigabyte and a half ish. So be forewarned, um, you probably will need a large X partition when doing this. Otherwise, you may run into problems and things. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. So you've got log log out there. It's just other system accounts if you make them. So, yeah, it's all working. Well, all the UI stuff, all the UI features and stuff are working. So. Mostly anyway, but aside from the graphical corruption and the weird ass lines across the screen that look like what was it look like when you haven't got a video cable plugged in properly on your TV, but aside from that, yeah. So as you can see, let's go shut down. Play for shut down. Shut down anyway. So maybe this may take a little while, but 
oh yeah, and whatever you don't lock it. If you lock the system, it will you won't be able. You'll have to force reboot your touchpad to get back in or to get back in or to WebOS or back into Ubuntu because for whatever reason at the lock screen you cannot load up the touch the touchscreen keyboard. And if you try to try, try to go switch user, it just it just hangs. So it goes to a black screen and hangs. See, it's rebooting here. It's taking its time. Still going. Obviously, it's doing something, so. There we go, it's rebooting now. Just closing all the stuff down now, so. Also, if you have a 4G touchpad, this may, it probably won't work with your modem driver. Um, it may not even boot for you if you've got, uh, it may not even boot for those of you using a 4G touchpad. So I haven't got a 4, uh, this is only just a standard Wi-Fi 32 gig touchpad, so I can't test 4G functionality, your, your um, network cards or anything. But yeah, if, um, to get a network connection, if you have some sort of, um, USB Ethernet card or some sort of USB uh, Wi-Fi adapter, it may work. It probably will work for getting a network connection. Um, use USB keyboard. So your standard USB host works. You see, I've got a standard USB host set up here, just using a L USB, a micro USB to USB host cable, a Y cable, and my standard touchpad power adapter. So, um, yeah, pretty much it. Boot back into WebOS now. That's it. Bye-bye.